27 News WKOW. Here's what's happening right now. Bust out the champagne. It's a party unlike any other. The Milwaukee Bucks celebrate the franchise's second NBA championship. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands cheer on Giannis and the rest of the team for the parade and victory celebration. We We've got you covered on the sights and sounds of a historic day for Wisconsin sports fans. Plus, the investigation surrounding a man's murder and his wife's disappearance shifts back to the pond behind their Windsor home. The step authorities are taking to find clues in the case. We've got you covered. This is 27 News at 6. Ah, uh, pandemonium in the city of Milwaukee as the Bucks celebrate their second NBA championship, the first in 50 years. Great way to uh, mark a finals victory, a Bucks in six chant. Good evening, I'm George Smith. And I'm Katie McCall in for Amber. A scene unlike one ever seen before in the city of Milwaukee. Hundreds of thousands of fans lined the streets as players, coaches, and their families took part in the franchise's first NBA championship parade. The team did win the championship in 1971, but did not have a parade that year. Of course, the Larry O'Brien Trophy went along for the ride. Listen in as the crowd reacts to Giannis hoisting the championship trophy. Giannis was joined by his girlfriend and his son. The team made its way around downtown Milwaukee in double-decker buses. Mascot Bango led the parade, followed by team cheerleaders and other staff throwing championship t-shirts to the crowd. The parade ended near the Deer District. There was a huge crowd there for a victory celebration. The team took the stage. The crowd chanted, Bucks in six and Milwaukee. Of course, MVP chants broke out for Giannis. Right now, you know, I'm extremely happy. I still can't believe that, uh, this is happening, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to be in the moment, trying to enjoy as much as possible with you guys, with my teammates, and everybody. Giannis is one of only seven players to ever score 50 points in an NBA Finals game and the first to score that many in a clinching game since 1958. Bucks fans came from all across the country to witness this historic celebration. Ward Jollis has you covered from Milwaukee. Here in Milwaukee, crowds have been electric today. There have been chants of Bucks and Six all up and down Wisconsin Avenue all throughout this championship parade. Now, we spoke with some fans just before the championship parade this morning, and some of these people dropped everything after the win and came from across the country to see these players and this parade. Great crowd on uh, Tuesday night. We were both down there and uh, had a blast. Phenomenal. Great people in Milwaukee. And I forgot to ask you guys before we started. Yeah, I caught it from the parade. Wow, okay. It's a little big, isn't it? Yeah, but, but it still looks like like a dress. Huh. She's been driving for 13 hours. <laughs> yeah, I, I started driving yesterday from Wilmington, Delaware to come to this because we are world champions. Yeah. 13 hours, 13 hours to see this team and celebrate this championship. And I asked those same ladies if this were to happen all over again next year and they bring home the championship one more time, would they make that 13 hour drive again? And they said, if the Bucks are winning, they're making the trip to Milwaukee. In Milwaukee, Ward Jollis, 27 News. All right, Ward, time and time again, the Bucks fought through adversity this postseason. Milwaukee came back two separate times when trailing two games to none. Their 0-2 finals comeback makes them just the fifth team in NBA history to ever do so. You can't even measure it. I mean, each time we're down 0-2, all we did was get closer. Some teams separate, some teams point fingers. We never pointed finish. We never quit on each other. All we did was come closer, try to find a way to figure it out. Everybody had a part in it. Everybody did everything they could to get to this point today. Our own Pablo Iglesias is right there for all the action. He'll recap player festivities a little later in sports. If you missed our coverage of the parade and celebration earlier, we have our Facebook Live embedded online right now at WKOW.com. 
Temperatures on the rise, and you can feel it today. Temperatures have now made it into the middle 80s across the area. The highs are going to come into the upper 80s. Sitting at 84 right now, very light breeze at 5 to 6 miles per hour. Uh, dew points, uh, it says 62 in Madison, but I think that's just a blip. Most of us are in the upper 60s, low 70s. This is the point where it's starting to get very humid. It will get worse as we go into Friday and Saturday. It feels like 88 in Janesville, 91 in La Crosse. So tonight, it's not that hot. It's not sweltering. The dew points aren't actually making your heat index that high. Now, that high moisture is popping a few storms just north of La Crosse. I'm going to watch those boundaries come through later tonight. I think for the next three hours, we're dry. If you're going to head out there to a patio, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, it is going to be dry. It's going to be a little later. So Future Track shows them trying to develop at around 9 to 10. There's not going to be a lot, and there's probably only going to be 10% of us actually getting rain here at this point. But these are going to slide into Milwaukee. We'll be tracking this entire thing out in your weekend forecast next. John, thank you. Authorities took a new step today in the search for Krista Halderson. The Dane County woman has been missing for weeks. Her son is charged with killing her husband and falsely reporting their disappearance. Tony Galley has you covered on the new place authorities searched today. Tony? Katie and George, an intense, extensive law enforcement effort here all day. Divers in this pond behind me's waters at various times, seemingly bringing something out in the past two hours, but what that was, unclear. The pond right behind the Halderson home is being drained to a five-foot depth to help with the recovery of any evidence and potentially, potentially, sobering reality with Krista Halderson tonight. Sheriff's officials say a police cadaver dog hit on something here, prompting a boat and divers combing this relatively shallow pond again and again. This day-long effort comes three weeks after the initial searching for Krista Halderson. Last week, the Dane County Sheriff expressed hope Halderson was still alive. That sentiment absent from his words tonight. We're just following all of the leads from the investigation and we'll let uh, that take us where we need to be in regards to her whereabouts uh, in regards to this investigation. So we are still going to continue to do everything we can from top to bottom to investigate all leads, all tips that come through to ensure that we do bring that peace and closure to the Halderson family. The sheriff has made no disclosures as of yet today as to whether anything was found, any evidence, anything that gets us closer to the whereabouts of Krista Halderson. This search going on here, still going on here, as law enforcement, including the Dane County Sheriff, is still searching a landfill site in Watertown and remains, human remains, found near the Wisconsin River one week ago, still yet to be identified. Reporting live from Windsor, Tony Galley, 27 News. Tony, thank you. 27 News has had you covered on this case from the beginning. You can find a timeline of developments on WKOW.com right now. Police arrested a man for attempted homicide in Sun Prairie. Officers were called to an apartment building on Park Circle at around 7.30 this morning. Police say 31-year-old Nicholas Thompson got into an argument with someone else, then shot at that person but missed. Thompson was arrested. A James Old Man's second homicide trial ended with a conviction. Jurors determined Julian Colazzo was guilty of first degree intentional homicide. He stabbed Christine Scacia Lubeck in December of 2017. Authorities say he did it to prove to another woman he could protect her. Colazzo's first trial ended in a mistrial. He'll be sentenced in October. Police arrested the driver who they say hit a seven-year-old while she was riding her bike on Sunday and took off. Fitchburg PD arrested 18-year-old Alexander Hernandez Gutierrez. He's in the Dane County Jail for a probation violation. A felony hit and run and other charges are expected by the end of the week. A detective spotted the abandoned vehicle from the crash in a parking lot a mile from the scene, which led police to Gutierrez. Coming up, the Madison School Safety Plan, the steps the district will take to try to keep COVID-19 out of its classrooms this fall. Plus the warning from state health officials as COVID-19 cases are rising in Wisconsin. And our Bucks championship celebration coverage continues. Coming up in sports, Pablo Iglesias shares more of the excitement from members of the team. Vehicle loans as low as 1.9% APR at WEA Credit Union. Whether it's new, new to you, or a refinance to save you money, apply online at weacu.com for rates as low as 1.9% APR. Local, fast approval, WEA Credit Union.
First Choice Dental's got going to the dentist solved. And when you've got 11 convenient neighborhood clinics, you can solve a lot of problems. Like helping you get in and get back to your busy day with snap appointments. Making the most of your insurance with coverage check. And helping you relax with soothing my chair choices like sunglasses, music, even sedation. Schedule your appointment at firstchoicedental.com. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we always offer genuine value on the things you need, especially during our rewards member appreciation event, featuring exclusive rewards deals and amazing summer savings going on now. Like all car and truck tires, buy three, get one free. Blaine's Farm and Fleet utility batteries are $3 off. Rewards members save an extra 2 bucks. Not a rewards member? Sign up for free today. And don't miss Blaine's Farm and Fleet's rewards member appreciation event going on now. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Black Friday in July, must end Tuesday at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to half off appliance doorbuster deals like these. Plus no interest for 12 months. Black Friday in July deals must end Tuesday at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline. We're here at the local farmer's market where Informed Choice Insurance Agency is offering fresh, local, hand-picked Medicare? What do you mean when you say shop local for Medicare? Your local Medicare plans have all the bells and whistles that national TV ads promise, only better. Because you're working with local agents who know the doctors, the specialists, and the hospital networks inside and out. You're not going to get that calling a call center in Des Moines, Iowa. Don't get fooled by national TV hype. When it comes to Medicare options, keep it local with Informed Choice Insurance Agency. And they're free! Let's wrap the week up right. Tomorrow on Wake Up, we're introducing you to our pet of the week, and hopefully, it's your new best friend. And I have high temps in the 90s to track in your forecasts. I'll let you know when conditions get downright hot Friday morning before GMA. Masks will be required for all students and teachers at Madison's public schools. That's part of the district's COVID-19 safety plan for the next school year. Students and staff have to wear masks when they're inside and on the bus. They can take the coverings off during recess and at lunch. The district also plans to have a minimum of three feet of physical distancing when possible. The governor and state health officials are urging everyone who's going to school in the fall to get vaccinated. They say that's the best way to protect against COVID-19. Their push comes as cases are rising in Wisconsin. Two and a half weeks ago, our seven-day average was 60 cases per day. Now it's up to 242. Here's a look at today's vaccination numbers. More than 51% of the state's residents have had at least one dose. Almost 49% are fully vaccinated. Madison's mayor says the first funds from the American Rescue Plan Act will reach community organizations in the next few weeks. Some of that money will go to YWCA Madison. It will help families and single women cover their basic needs. The Tellurian Homeless Services Program will use money to help people struggling with housing. Outreach is also getting funding. It'll use that to help low-income and homeless members of the LGBTQ plus community. Still ahead, why a rural EMS service in Lafayette County might have to shut down and what that would mean for the people it serves. Plus the algae advisory in Rock County where health officials say the bacteria is blooming. He's got enough to think about maintaining. Good thing the all-new 2022 Volkswagen Taos has a lower cost of maintenance than Toyota RAV4. Come into your Volkswagen dealer today and lease the all-new 2022 Taos S for just $229 a month. Black Friday in July must end Tuesday at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to half off appliance doorbuster deals like these. Plus no interest for 12 months. Black Friday in July deals must end Tuesday at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Inside Ashley Home Store off the Beltline. No more Freon for your AC. Oh, no, the homeowners called it Action Man and his action team. Call on Action Plumbing, Heating, and Electric at IWantActionNow.com. Playcon is an industry leader in sustainable packaging, and we're looking for great people to join our team. Join us for on-site interviews on Wednesday, July 28th from noon to 6. Multiple positions are open, and pay starts at up to $19 an hour. Come grow with us at www.playcon.com today. Congratulations, Milwaukee! The celebration continues at Dick's Sporting Goods. We're your headquarters for officially licensed Bucks NBA Finals championship gear for the whole family. Come early or shop online at dicks.com. Every season starts at Dick's. Get the new furniture you really want during the Steinhoffel's Best Sellers event. 
Save 35 to 50% store-wide on all the latest styles from all the best brands. Whether it's a new living room, bedroom, dining room, or the entire house, it's all on sale. And with Steinhoffel's special financing, it's even more affordable to update your room. So shop now and save big, in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. You've got enough to think about maintaining. Good thing the all-new 2022 Volkswagen Taos has a lower cost of maintenance than Toyota RAV4. Come into your Volkswagen dealer today and lease the all-new 2022 Taos S for just $229 a month. You're watching WKOW 27 News at 6 with Amber Noggle, George Smith, Chief Meteorologist John Ziegler, and Sports with Lance Beeser. We've got you covered. Imagine having an emergency, a medical emergency, calling paramedics and having to wait for help to come from many miles away. That may become a reality for people living in two Lafayette County towns. New at 6 residents and EMS workers shared their concerns with Rhonda Fox. We've been telling our boards for about three years that we desperately need help. And you can't expect an EMS agency to survive with two people. It's too much work. Eric Burgett and Donna Flannery say they've been on call pretty much year round for the last three years because they're the only two EMS responders for the village of South Wayne and the Wayne Township. You have to have a certain amount of people on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you can't have the same two or three or four people doing that every day of the year. And now they say the state is pulling their licenses. On July 31st, our license is being suspended by the uh, state of Wisconsin. We don't have enough people on our unit at this time to provide the coverage for our, for our community as needed by the state. South Wayne first response unit is going to basically cease to exist. Um, no longer able to provide service and go on emergency calls. So when residents in the village of South Wayne and the Wayne Township dial 911, it could be a while before help arrives. That person would have to wait for the ambulance to arrive from Monroe, Wisconsin, which is approximately 15 miles away, uh, depending where you're at in our district. Uh, it can be up to uh, almost 25 miles away. I'm actually very fearful about this, and if someone's choking or bleeding out, that's just way too long. A teacher in South Wayne says it's terrifying to think what would happen if someone opened fire on her school. If there was an active shooting and someone got shot, we would have to wait for Monroe. So that makes me nervous as well, because those kids are like my kids. In the village of South Wayne, Rhonda Fox, 27 News. We reached out to the village of South Wayne's president and he declined to comment until after tonight's meeting. The EMS and fire protection situation in South Wayne is on the agenda. It starts at 7 p.m. Health officials in Rock County are warning everyone about blue-green algae. There have been blooms popping up in the Rock River and Lake Koshkanong. Health officials say you should not swim in the algae, and it's especially important to keep small children and pets away from it. If you think you've been exposed and you feel sick, you should call your doctor. Now, 27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist John Ziegler. Well, with the humidity about doubling here over the past 24 hours, it now feels much hotter. And you know it's out there. It's definitely thicker air, and it's only going to get thicker. We knew this was going to happen. And, and if we're sunny, that's where it gets, where I would say, steamy. So if we can break out the sunshine, especially Saturday, we're going to see much, much higher and maybe dangerous levels uh, of the heat index value. Starting to feel like 88, though, in Janesville. Definitely a, a hot day today, uh, but doable, right? You can be outside. You can still be in, enjoying that. There's that lucky lake breeze, Milwaukee, Sheboygan, Green Bay, getting into the 70s here. We are watching an area of some very small thunderstorms. They're going to die off, so the models project they'll die off. But even when storms die off, they actually leave a little, you can't see it, but there's going to be a little boundary, and it'll be drifting south. And models want to pop a couple of this as they get closer to Madison and then down towards Milwaukee. It's not anything that I'm worried about severe weather-wise. It's not, it shouldn't affect most of your plans. Here are just the odds tonight of getting any rain at all, and it would only last for... 10 minutes so you're fine if you have plans outside patio whatever you're doing 
30% chance in Madison. Higher threats as you get over towards Milwaukee, where they actually have the best chance at 50%. As you head west, I'd say Lone Rock, west of Prairie du Chien, very low threats for any drops of rain tonight. You'll see that on future track. See that one or two cells. I want to get going here at around 8 to 9 on that leftover boundary. Then it might drift over into Jefferson County, Walworth, and you'll see them actually maybe strengthen as they pass through Milwaukee. That'd be midnight to 2 for Milwaukee. Then we're clear, and I think tomorrow's a dry day. So here's a tomorrow on future track. Nothing really going on. You see the rain focused on the boundary. So this boundary is where the focus will be, and there's a good chance for severe weather late Friday into Saturday morning up to the north. And I think was northern Wisconsin, once again, is going to get rain. This will be a dying area of storms in the morning Saturday. Then what I think will happen, you can see the time here, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, is the boundary gets more focused in southeastern portions of Wisconsin. So I'm not really thinking we're going to see a whole lot of rain from Madison north. Maybe we see a couple isolated evening storms in Watertown, maybe Madison, maybe Janesville and Kenosha Saturday night. But those will quickly drift into Chicago. Now, those storms could be severe. Now, we have no severe threat tonight. What you really get is you're always going to have a severe storm chance at this time of the year because of high humidity. But you'll see that tomorrow, Friday. That's going to be a marginal threat, mainly for nor northern portions of the state. We have general storms here. Saturday, you see what I was talking about. Most, m most of this is for that evening threat Saturday, and it's going to be from Madison down towards Chicago. But it's really for isolated storms. This is the, s the main story here, and it is the heat. It gets a very close to very dangerous levels if we could see triple digits Saturday. This is the high here in the orange, 89 tomorrow, 92 on Saturday. If we have not so 92, if we get to 72 for the dew point, mathematically that gets you to 100 for the heat index. It is just a calculation. Sunday and Monday, you'll notice that it is going to be hot, but it's not going to be steamy because the heat index is the same, but it does not turn off. Tuesday, also very, very hot. 69 tonight, maybe that isolated storm. I wouldn't change my plans if you're going to be out there at all. 89 tomorrow, it's going to be partly sunny, hot and humid. I don't really have rain out there for your Friday. Saturday, we do have a small severe threat. You'll have a, a small morning chance as we have the storms dying off from northern Wisconsin in the morning. And then again during the evening, but mainly over towards Chicago. And, and I just would not be surprised if we go seven days without rain. That's a long time. I know. We're just in the dog days here. We're really hitting this uh, hot str in stride, I guess. Well, 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 here we go. All right. Thank you. Party like it's 1971. The Bucks hosting their championship parade today. I'm Pablo Iglesias in Milwaukee. We'll hear from the world champs after the break. Music is much better live. Join me and many talented musicians for Opera in the Park, July 24th at Garner Park. Admission is free. Bow ties optional. Brought to you by these sponsors and WKOW. Stock up during the big Hy-Vee brand sale this Thursday through Sunday. Get Hy-Vee products for just 99 cents. Get Hy-Vee peanut butter, apple juice, pasta sauce, and baked beans just 99 cents each. Thursday through Sunday at Hy-Vee. Vehicle loans as low as 1.9% APR at WEA Credit Union. Whether it's new, new to you, or a refinance to save you money, apply online at weacu.com for rates as low as 1.9% APR. Local, fast approval, WEA Credit Union. Looks like it's time to trade. Because it's trade month at your local Ford dealers. Get more cash for your eligible trade-in. Any brand, any model, all month long. Get trade assist cash on top of what your eligible vehicle is worth and trade up to a new Ford SUV. Your trade-in is worth more than you think. Only during trade month. Right now, get up to 2,000 trade assist bonus cash on eligible models. It's trade month at your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. This is your last chance to score Black Friday deals in July at Ashley Home Store. Find doorbusters at Black Friday discounts of up to 60% off, plus no interest for five years. Pay less than $20 a month for a new room you'll love. Must end Tuesday, only at Ashley Home Store. It's that time of year again where you just want a little fresh air. Maybe a cool midnight breeze through a window or the smell of fresh cut grass through a patio door. If your windows or doors aren't letting you enjoy the season, Consider Renewal by Anderson Replacement Windows from Wanakee Remodeling. For a limited time, take advantage of our great offer. Renewal by Anderson Windows. Let's crack one open. 
It's the big Hy-Vee brand sale this Thursday through Sunday. Hy-Vee ice cream, just $2.48. Hy-Vee potatoes, only $1.48. And Hy-Vee salads, just $3.99. Don't miss the big Hy-Vee brand sale this Thursday through Sunday. 27 Weather is brought to you by Group Health Cooperative of South Central Wisconsin. Better together. Now, 27 Sports with Carly Murata. Giannis said it best, it's time to party. And the Bucks did just that in a parade through Milwaukee today. Every player on this team played a part in claiming the Bucks' first title in the last half century. Pablo Iglesias shows us how the players soaked it all in with their fan base. As the saying goes, every dog has its day, and P.J. Tucker said the Milwaukee Bucks are a group of dogs, and I'll tell you, on the stage right behind us, the dogs had their day. Like, I got here, like, we, we already got dogs. They just don't know how to be dogs, and we're going to be dogs. They say what they want, but they got to say we champs. The Bucks and Six prophecy has been fulfilled. The city of Milwaukee celebrating the world champions who won their first title in 50 years. It was flooded streets, shiny shoes, fireworks. The celebration had the works. Shall we are the champion of the world. The road to the NBA title was a long journey, but bringing back the Larry O'Brien trophy in the manner they did, well, it was all worth it. Yes, I've been here eight years. Struggled, went through a lot of, you know, just ups and downs. But we finally got the job done for sure. And in one year, man, look what we could do. Maybe we could do it again, huh? <laughs> Milwaukee, we did it, baby! We did it! We did it, man. Man, this is our city. This is our city, man. We did it, man. It's unbelievable. A small market guy with big championship dreams, Giannis and company, hoping to come back right here to celebrate another championship for the city of Milwaukee. Reporting in Milwaukee, I'm Pablo Iglesias, 27 Sports. Former Wisconsin Athletic Director Barry Alvarez's retirement was short-lived. Big Ten Conference Commissioner Kevin Warren announced that Alvarez will be a special advisor to the conference for football. Warren made this announcement at Big Ten Football Media Days at Lucas Oil Stadium. He will begin his new position August 2nd. Warren said he will be working on projects such as college football playoffs potential expansion, building relationships with media partners, health, health and safety issues, and bowl partnerships. The NFL has a COVID vaccination incentive for players. In a memo sent to all teams, the league's new COVID policy says any outbreaks among unvaccinated players or staff members will forfeit that week's game and be, be credited as, as a loss if the game cannot be rescheduled during the 18-week season. In addition, players from both teams will not receive their scheduled salary. The league has encouraged the vaccine but not required it. Commissioner Roger Goodell said more than 75% of NFL players are at least partial vaccinated and more than half of the league's teams have vaccination rates at about 80 percent can't get enough of that celebration <laughs> oh i love right. it i, can I just want more this. and more and more i could hear Giannis talk all day too we'll see. my favorite human speaking of yeah. Giannis, Ever. We, oh, you sure. add, he's got more <laughs> we give it to you <laughs> yeah. Giannis's love of chick-fil-a continues a national software company estimates Giannis's instagram live of his order of 50 so nuggets 50 not 49 <laughs> not 51 <laughs> Earned the restaurant nearly $300,000 in brand value. Now Giannis is hoping for a little kickback, tweeting to Chick-fil-A this afternoon, asking if he can now have free Chick-fil-A for life. What do y'all think? It's worth the marketing alone. Oh, for sure. He can't eat that much money. Give it to Give the it man. Give it to him. As long as he does videos every drive. Yeah. yeah. That has to be one of my the greatest moments I can ever remember an athlete doing. Right? That's how we celebrate it. Right. And he just wants to be a normal guy. Yeah. I love him so much. All right, here's your seven days. 89. That's everyone right now. Oh, yeah. 89 tomorrow. Hot and humid weather moves in. Maybe some storms Saturday morning and Saturday night in 92. Let's all go get 50. 50, 50. nuggets. <laughs> See you 50 nuggets. Good night. <laughs>